Hey folks, doing here, coming at you, coming at you, coming at you, of all things, Friday, 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 November 4th. Remember, Democrats, voting for your day is going to be November 9th. Be sure to go and vote on Deve this <laughs> November 9th. It's very important. It's not on the 8th, okay? That's not your day. That's for Republicans. Your day is on the 9th. Go vote on the 9th and um, everything is going to be great and, uh, well, you'll support Hillary on the 9th. Now, all those things that's to be coming out right now in terms of, like, all the crap that's fallen out from, like, well, crap out of a cow's butt, man. I'm more like elephant's butt. More more like whale's butt. More like, okay, biggest land animal, sea animal, you know, piles of dookie you possibly can imagine. Those WikiLeaks are taking Hillary down in the numbers. Poll numbers I just saw, Rear Clear Politics, she's only up by, like, 2 points, 2.3, 2.6, something like that. It's getting to the statistical margin of error translation they don't know now here's the thing you guys got to remember the only poll that counts is election day that is the only poll that counts no matter what these guys say about you know donald did this hillary did that both these guys in the mix are blah 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 blah, blah. none of that stuff matters for jack the only thing that matters is the results after election day now also is there a whole bunch of cheating going on is it contestable or is it one of these things kind of like gore versus bush where you have only a few hundred votes and all the rest of stuff i don't see that happening right now a bunch of people who voted early who have the opportunity who can change their votes are changing their votes that does not sound promising for the hillary camp i don't care what they say that means people are going Holy crap, I voted for a total pile of dog dookie. I don't want any part of this whatsoever. I wish to switch things up, fix what happened, and I don't like what I am seeing. Now, of all those things that seem to be coming out at this point, there is all kinds of bad juju going on with the Clinton Foundation. Bad juju with classified information being just made public. Even on Huma Abedin's, whatever her name is, Huma Abedin's, Anthony Weiner's shared laptop, there is... Classified information. That means that somebody, read like Hillary Clinton, disseminated that information to people who are not privy to it. And also, if you know how things work in the U.S. government, when they say something is secret, it is secret. And also, yet, yet again, it is something called compartmented. That means there's only a certain small group of people who are supposed to have access to that piece of information at any time. It is a small group of people. They share the information. They make use of the information. It is not disseminated to others. Now, also, there's something else, too. There's uh, some raging pervert. I forget his name, but supposedly Bill Clinton rode on the plane a few times, and they went to the island of, well, the island of fun. And I'm going to put it very just, you know, generically like that. And also, this guy has a history of pedophilia. Translation, he likes going after young girls. Bill Clinton seems to put himself in the mix with this mix of, you know, going to the island for young girls. And also now, it's come out that there may be something involved with uh, underage sexual predation and child trafficking. That's right. The sexual predators are coming out of the woodwork, and they might be in the Hillary camp. This is all bad. I mean, not even a little bit. This is bad juju. Bad juju. And it does not speak well for the Hillary camp, does not speak well for the Hillary Clinton campaign, and you're seeing her numbers dropping accordingly. Now, of all those people that still have not voted and need to vote on the 8th, those Democrats who need to vote on the 9th, remember, it's on the 9th. Very important. You guys go out and vote on the 9th. Those people who have not voted yet, take a good hard look at who you support, Okay. I'm not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm simply going to say just look at the facts as what they are. And if you look at Donald Trump and go, wow, he's the oompa lump of this, that, and the other thing. He's some crazy old, you know, crazy old rich business guy. He's always had the silver spoon in his mouth, this, that, and the other thing. Take a look at what the guy says, what he's done, and also those people who follow him and state the statements of, yeah, he is a real person, okay? He's not a politician. And anything that you can look at right now that's screwed up in the U.S. government Hillary has been part of it in excess of 30 effing years. If you do the same thing over and over and expect new results, that's insanity. 
Trying to find a new solution might be the way to fix problems. And right now, the way things are looking, we need a new solution, okay? We don't need a political insider. We don't need somebody that's been there forever. We don't need somebody that's now rah rahing all the, you know, the whatever it is in the government that needs to be fixing things that hasn't fixed it at all. And she's been there for 30 years and didn't fix a damn thing. Call it what you will, okay? Yes, Donald Trump is verbose. Yes, he's an obnoxious SOB. But you know what? The guy gets things done, and people under him like him. All the scandal crap they're throwing out really has not stuck because it was caca. That's right. It was not even good information in the first point, and you need to look at this for what it is. Yes, Donald Trump is not a perfect candidate. Hillary Clinton is much... <laughs> the most imperfect candidate I ever possibly have ever seen in my entire adult life. And, well, let's just say I'm not voting for her. Uh, you guys got to make a choice here. Do you wish to basically choose somebody that's better than or way, way less than? That's it in a nutshell. And the only poll that counts is Election Day. Democrats, November 9th. Go there and vote, okay? Everybody else, November 8th. I'm going to break up on this one, folks. Eat good, keep your Have a good weekend. I'll see you guys on Monday. Kick ass, take names, and let's do some electioneering and get some people out to vote. Get those people out there that sat on their asses and said, I can't vote for Vint Romney. You know what? I hated the guy. I still voted for him. Even though I lost, I have a clear conscience saying, I didn't put Obama in office. All right, folks, I'm going to break up on this one. Have a good one, and I'll see you guys on Monday. As usual, like I usually say, Urgh!